Check it out. That's in my fucking pants. I've done this many times. I've walked around with my Switch in my fucking... Because I wear pants like a normal grown-ass man. Not fucking girl jeans. You know, I really don't know how this video about the Steam Deck devolved into talking about fucking pants of all things. Because I wear pants. What is up, guys? Lord Gaben back with another video. So yesterday, Valve dropped a fucking bombshell to say the very least, which was the announcement of the Steam Deck. Which is Valve's official portable system that has been rumored for quite a while now. And I gotta say I'm very pleasantly surprised with this announcement. And I'm somewhat excited even if I don't plan to get it right away at launch. Well not like I have the option to anyway with scalpers probably snatching every unit and selling them on eBay for twice the damn price. But I mean shit, I was even debating whether to get one of these bad boys or to get a new graphics card when I get the chance so I can fulfill my life dream of playing Skyrim with way too many mods at a stable frame rate. The system is pretty solid it all around and is an obvious contender to the Nintendo Switch. Speaking of which, I don't think it's a coincidence that the Steam Deck was announced right after the disappointing dog shit Switch OLED announcement. I mean the Steam Deck really puts the Switch OLED to shame when for just an extra $50 you can get an infinitely better experience with the Steam Deck. While Nintendo's dumbass wants to charge you $350 for just an OLED screen in a fucking Ethernet port. Uh, Nintendo 2005 called, they wanted a revolutionary feature back. Oh, but I'm sorry, the OLED has also doubled the storage, which is still only fucking 64 gigabytes. And that's like enough for 2 to 3 AAA games at most. Now, while the Steam Deck's cheapest model also only has 64 gigabytes of storage, you can always get an SD card, just like with the Switch. And the only reason I brought it up is because Nintendo was using that as some sort of fucking selling point. And you also have to take into account that the Steam Deck is a much more powerful console with way more features. While the Switch doesn't even come close. So overall, the Steam Deck announcement was received pretty well by everyone. That is, besides the Nintendo fanboys, or as I like to call them, Nintendards, who will just do everything in their power to downplay the Steam Deck. So they can be white knights and damage control for their precious Nintendo corporate overlords. Because they're in denial and deep down they know that the Steam Deck makes the Switch OLED look like an absolute joke. Now the video we're gonna be taking a look at today is just from a Nintendart channel just like this, and this guy is so desperate he somehow found a way to involve fucking pants of all things in an attempt to make the Steam Deck look bad. Cause I wear pants. So the video is titled Valve Steam Deck can't help PC gaming console will fail. And if that little snippet in the intro of this video is anything to go by, I think we're in for an absolute fucking masterpiece. So with that said, let's just dive headfirst into this video. Oh and by dive headfirst I mean straight into a brick wall because my god, prepare yourself for unimaginable levels of stupidity. The Nintendo Switch Pro is here and <laughs> Nintendo didn't even make it, so... Well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, and it's that the Steam Deck is basically what the Nintendo OLED should have been. Shit, I guess Valve does what Nintendo don't. Oh, and if any of you got that reference, then either you have no life like me or your age is starting to show. Steam announced today a new handheld handheld gaming system. I really don't know why this man used the air quotes when the Steam Deck is literally a handheld portable system, which functions pretty much like the Switch, except better with way more features. And you don't have to use their official dock if you don't want to, like you have to with Nintendo. The thing is th this big. I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you the thing is this big. We're gonna check it out. I don't know much about it. All I've seen is how gigantic it is and how unappealing it is to me. Well, of course, it's unappealing to a Nintendard like you, who will do everything in their power to shill for the Nintendo Switch when it gets to the point of this motherfucker bringing pants into the equation. Cause I wear pants! And I don't know why he's bitching about the size of the Steam Deck when it's not that much larger than the Switch. If anything, considering the hardware within it, I'm surprised that the Steam Deck didn't end up any larger. So if you are a fan of this, you might not like this video because ultimately, I don't think it's gonna do well. I, it seems like a niche product. Well, shit, I guess he's at least self-aware of the video being trash, but he then proceeds to upload said video, despite knowing it's likely not gonna go over well, which it hasn't if the like-to-dislike ratio is anything to go off by. But I don't understand how the fuck this shit is gonna be a quote-unquote a niche product when it's made by fucking Valve, who not only developed some of the most revolutionary games of all time, owned the largest video game distribution platform on PC, and made a successful VR headset like 
how the fuck is this theme deck going to be niche? It's like a switch, but actually good. But let's just let's check it out, all right? Before I before I start casting stones, okay? Let's check it out and talk about it. We're here on Steam's Twitter uh, today, seven hours ago, introducing Steam Deck. I guess that's what it's called. Steam Deck, powerful, portable PC gaming, starting at three ninety nine. Starting at three ninety nine. So I don't know if there's gonna be a more advanced option or what the case is. Designed by Valve. Jesus Christ! This is how you know this man doesn't know anything he's talking about. When literally the Steam Deck is on the front page of Steam with all the information, ranging from the different SKUs to what's included in the box to the hardware and software side of things being easily available. You don't need to be fucking Co Phelps to find the information on this shit. But I guess I'm expecting too much from a Nintendo like this guy right here. Powered by Steam, shipping December 2021, so very soon. Was this known about before? Because I had no idea, and then out of nowhere, there was like, this is, here it is! Does this man not understand the concept of a surprise announcement? And Valve was likely waiting for Nintendo to reveal their shitty Switch OLED, since the leaks were pretty rampant for the quote-unquote Switch Pro, <laughs> which, by the way, Switch Pro my ass, so they could kill all the hype, not that there was any, and show Nintendo how to actually make a good handheld. That uses hardware that isn't outdated and can actually run games at a stable frame rate while not looking like absolute shit. Since here it is! The new Steam handheld. Haven't they tried a Steam box before and it like didn't do well? I, there's a lot of reasons why I just don't think this is gonna go well. Well, I mean the Steam box essentially was just a pre-built computer, which when you take that into account and how the majority of PC gamers prefer to build computers, and how it was aimed at console gamers with a hefty price tag, it kind of makes sense why the Steam machine didn't do that well. And the Steam Deck is entirely different to the Steam Machine, so it's irrelevant to compare the two. I mean, if anything, the Steam Machine gave Valve more experience in creating a custom system, so they'd be more ready to make one now. People are really super excited about it online, but like everything in the past, people were excited about the Ouya. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't... <laughs> Bro, are you really gonna compare the fucking Ouya to the Steam Deck? Which is made by a reputable gaming company. Not some fucking shitty Kickstarter with a controller which rivaled the PS3 in feeling like a fucking Happy Meal toy. <laughs> Just because people are excited now does not mean it's gonna do well. Remember Labo? Remember when everybody was, hey, Labo's amazing! And everyone, I was saying that it wasn't gonna do well and everyone was like, dude, you're so dumb! You're so dumb, watch! Where's Labo? What happened? Nintendo fucking happened, and we all know how much they love their stupid fucking gimmicks. But not only did this man compare the Steam Deck to the Ouya, which was a shitty Kickstarter, and now fucking Nintendo Labo, which was quite literally fucking cardboard. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? Just like, what the hell compelled you in your pea-sized brain to even make that comparison? But don't worry, dude, because this video gets much worse. I see- I've seen it at Goodwill. That's pretty neat. Anyway, here's the video that goes along with it. It has no sound. My sound on my TV is all the way up. I'm not using headphones and it just didn't have any sound and I was like that's a great start a commercial with no sound well I mean what do you need sound for when all they're literally showing you is how the console and user interface looks if you really want a developer deep dive then go watch the interviews on IGN's channel like I really don't know what you expected from a short Twitter clip and it's a little pixely but look how gigantic this thing is and the this thing is hum literally this big like I said before I really don't know why he's making so a fuss over the size of the console when it's not that much larger than the switch especially when you take into account the hardware inside the steam deck you know actually the switch is pretty big there this is not this is this is like atari lynx big okay honestly i think he's just insecure that the steam deck is probably larger than his dick and i would not be surprised if that was actually the case because he literally cannot stop bringing up the size of the console like jesus christ this fucking thing is living rent free in this man's head this is humongous here goes my switch light right here let me show you this this is my switch light right here you're like that's pretty big not really look at my hands they're touching this is my cell phone yeah i've said this before and i'll say it again the steam deck is not that large it's not a big deal so stop pretending it is it's literally almost the exact same size as my cell phone i can put this in my fucking pocket in the carrying case watch this i can put this fully in my pocket. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god. You can put the fucking switch in a case, then put the switch, which keep in mind is in the case, and put it in your pocket? Oh my god, how revolutionary. You know, if there are any Valve employees watching this, you guys had a good run, but I think it's time to pack it up because the power of the switch in its fucking case is unimaginable, and there's just no competition. Nintendo's the winner, end of story. Bye bye. I mean, it's not as if the Steam Deck has its own case. Oh wait, yes, it does. Shut the fuck up, you Neanderthal. 
Check it out. That's in my fucking pants. I've done this many times. I've walked around with my Switch in my fucking... Because I wear pants! Because I wear pants! Yeah, and it looks stupid. Like, that looks like you have a plastic explosive strapped to the side of your leg. Fully prepared to hijack a plane or some shit and fly it into a building. Like, put that shit in a backpack or something. Because I wear pants like a normal grown-ass man! I'm sorry, but you have no right to call yourself a quote-unquote normal grown-ass man when you are quite literally having a mental breakdown over a fucking portable console, a literal piece of plastic, and are literally standing on your office chair recording yourself yelling about fucking pants of all things. Like, goddamn, leave your mom's basement and go touch some grass. Not fucking girl jeans. I'm looking right at you with your girl jeans. Jesus Christ, back away from the damn camera. You're giving me flashbacks to the homeless man I arrested at the age of five. I couldn't fit that in there. I can barely fit my cell phone in there. Then grow the fuck up! And buy some pants! You know, I couldn't hear much over the distorted audio besides you demanding me to grow up and to buy pants. Which the main takeaway I'm getting from this video so far is that this man has a pants fetish or some shit. And is just so eager to share it with the world. Cause I wear pants! But if there's one person who needs to grow up, look no further than yourself. You're literally screeching about pants and consoles. Jesus Christ! It says, this is portable, okay? I love the Switch Lite, $200, half the price of this. And you go, well, this is gonna play Doom at 60 FPS and... and, and, and what is wrong with this man's face? Did his ranting about the pants cause him a fucking aneurysm? It's the FPS and, and, and Team Fortress and all this other stuff. Well, that's great. There's, th there's a thing called gaming laptops, all right? We didn't need- Bro, weren't you just bitching about how the fucking Steam Deck is supposedly not gonna fit in the pockets of your baggy-ass pants? But a gaming laptop, which is a literal rectangle two times the size of a fucking Switch or a Steam Deck? Oh, no problem! You can fit that shit in your pants, no problem! It's- this is literally as convenient as a gaming laptop. Laptop, all right, I don't understand what the hype is about this like you don't understand what the hype is about Oh, I don't know maybe because this is basically a switch on steroids except for all the functionality and features of steam for only $400 for the cheapest model like you're not gonna be able to get a gaming laptop that performs this well for the same price Like I could spend all day listing all the reasons why the steam deck is a worthwhile purchase But that would literally make this video way too long and this is more about laughing at this dude and it's pure fucking retardation I mean the motherfuckers I spent the majority of the video so far ranting about fucking pants. Cause I wear pants! You can play something that's this fucking big and the buttons are at the top so you're gonna be holding it really weird. That's cool, look at that! The buttons are at the very top of the con- like, what is this? I mean, it seems as if this man cannot miss a single opportunity to dick ride a Nintendo and the Switch. But he can't bring himself to remember the fucking layout of the Wii U, which is pretty similar if you ask me. And in one of the IGN videos where they tested a console, the dude said the layout felt fine. When I first saw the Steam Deck, I was a bit thrown off by its control layout. The thumbsticks are in line with the D-pad and face buttons, which looks a bit odd when you're used to the more offset angle found on most controllers. However, as soon as I held it myself, the layout felt completely natural. Like, this is such a non-issue, but of course the CEO of Pants here needs to make everything seem like a bigger deal than it really is. Like, my god, I'm losing so much brain cells while making this video that it actually hurts, dude. So if you all could actually do me a solid and subscribe, I think it would really justify my suffering. I like it, look, it's cool, alright? It, it looks a little wacky, but it is, the concept and the idea are cool, but it's just such a, I feel like, not a mainstream thing. Like, how the fuck is this not a mainstream thing when Valve literally owns the largest video game distribution platform on PC and are very well known in the gaming space. Like, what are you smoking because I want some? Timmy and his mom at Kmart. All right, I'm gonna stop you right there because literally no one goes to Kmart anymore. Like, if we're being realistic, Kmart is literally just known nowadays for their parking lots being the hub for homeless people and drug dealers. Timmy and his mom at Kmart are gonna be like, hey, let's get this Steam portable gigantic thing and carry it around and play god knows what when they could just go hey let's get this get a mario boys and be on our way i feel like it's just way this is just has way more mass appeal bro are you gonna sit here and pretend like steam doesn't have mass appeal when once again it's the largest video game platform on pc with thousands of games which has literally every game genre on there like there is no end of different games you can get on there but to be honest i don't think the steam deck is exclusively aimed at the little snot nosed timmy like oh look it's got all these household names Games and they're just right here and obviously you can hack this to play those on there. I get that I don't think the vast majority of people are gonna use this 
Steam Deck as an emulation machine. And while there are definitely people who will do that, I think the majority will just stick to the intended out of the box experience. Those out there, I get that. I know there's gonna be people going, I can play Mario on my Steam. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the longer that this video goes on, the more convinced I am that this man is either mentally sick or mentally challenged. I could hack it right on there, Sean. Great, again, this is the mass appeal, not the niche guy in his basement. Are you really gonna call other people basement dwellers when you are likely one yourself? I mean, I still cannot get over the fact that this man spent like two minutes ranting about fucking pants. Cause there were pants! The niche guy in his basement going beep -a -doop, boop -a boop beep -a -doop, boop -a boop seriously what the fuck did i click on this video cannot be healthy to watch going beep -a -doop, boop -a boop let me put everything over i know it's not hard i'm just making fun okay i'm just having fun all right but it's literally it's literally a niche thing it doesn't have millions in sale mass appeal to me i don't think so at least maybe i'll be wrong hopefully i'm wrong yeah and the system is a complete 180 of what you're describing which thank god because literally everything you've said in this video is 100 percent wrong maybe if they redesigned it and made it a little more compact but i just don't this is like bare ass portable let's look into it though a little more steamdeck.com i really haven't looked into this at all i really haven't looked into this at all bro i got in fucking 4k hdr dolby digital i mean what other evidence do you need that this dude is talking out of his ass and doesn't know anything he's talking about. I mean, he said it himself a literal moment ago. This is unironically one of the worst videos I've seen. Though I guess I can't be too surprised when we've got a Nintentart who spent a good amount of the video ranting about pants. Cause there were pants! I just saw that it was a thing. The most gaming power you have ever held. <laughs> That's sweeter. Are you really gonna sit here and act like the Nintendo Switch is some unmatched gaming device when literal phones have a more powerful CPU than that cheap piece of shit? <laughs> That's sweeter. You don't know what I've held. I've held Dreamcast guy's dick. Uh, oh, you have? I mean, I have no doubts, my guy, but like, what the fuck even is this video? I'm at such a loss for words. This video cannot end soon enough. You know what? Fuck this. I can't be bothered to include the rest of this video in its entirety or else I'm gonna get a fucking stroke. It looks good quality. I'll give it that. All-in-one gaming portable PC, blah, blah, blah. Stream the Steam games and features you love to a powerful and convenient... Convenient. <laughs> I don't get what's inconvenient about Steam, but go off, queen. This is probably gonna be a lot better quality hardware than Nintendo is gonna have. You fucking think? No shit Nintendo systems feel so damn cheap because they are. Uh, we can go into more about the hardware. I guess we will. I don't know anything about hardware. It's just gonna be like, check out the processing power. Beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Oh my god, that was so funny. I mean, it was so funny that I forgot to laugh. But once again, you've got to love how he talks like he knows what he's talking about. When several times throughout the video, he says that he in fact doesn't no jack shit. 7 inch screen which is what the new Switch OLED is but I heard this is LCD people were making a big deal like that you guys can't even do OLED why can't they do OLED? OLED come on because it would make the Steam Deck too expensive I mean the console is already more worth it than the Switch OLED hardware wise functionality and feature wise and etc like this is not even a competition the Steam Deck is the obvious choice if you have above average room temperature IQ so it's got it's got a lot of great features it looks really nice but I just again don't think it has has mass appeal we've had things like this in the past very similar things to this i'm not gonna bother to address the quote-unquote missing appeal i mean i think i've talked about that more than enough already but the reason other devices like this didn't work was because they were made by some no-name companies that literally a total of two people have heard of and were too expensive uh and a million other handhelds a ps vita all kinds of stuff i know this is not not even comparable to a ps vita so why the fuck are you comparing it to one then you moron nintendo does no knows what they're doing marketing wise with handhelds and with their ips and everything they know how to get it into households oh but valve doesn't when once again my god i feel like a broken record at this point steam is the largest pc video game market get that through your thick skull you fucking dolt and go hey the family you guys will love this steam is just like hey hardcore gamers buy our thing dude hardcore gamers buy our thing 
dude. The cringe in this video is straight up radioactive. And it makes Chernobyl look like an amusement park you would go to with your family during summer. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Zindib dude's got a bunch of flops. There's flops and T-flops and G-flops. All the flops. They're flopping. Shut the fuck up. My god, this video brings me nothing but physical and emotional pain. And what makes it worse is that this guy probably thinks this shit is comedy genius. Like he obviously follows the loud equals funny mentality. And while I do that as well sometimes, this man doesn't know how to use it properly. And instead creates some sort of fucking bioweapon that's probably used in North Korean concentration camps. Huh, all nice things. These are all nice things, alright. But at the end of the day... Well, is, is that gonna matter for this $400 gigantic handheld? Uh, yeah, it is because it literally makes the Switch OLED look like an out-of-season April Fool's joke. When for an additional $50, you can get an infinitely better experience. But I'm not interested in carrying around something this fucking big, alright? I'm sorry, Steam, Valve, whoever I gotta apologize to, I apologize. You can start by apologizing to all the fucking brain cells I've lost in the time that I spent watching this god-awful video. Because the death count makes World War II look like a picnic, and I'm one step away from becoming a vegetable. Bit of a long-winded rant today. If you liked it, drop a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out so, so much. In but that's pretty much where the video went, and holy fuck, those are 10 minutes of my life I am never getting back. But, uh, yeah, this video was absolutely fucking dog shit as expected from a Nintendo like this motherfucker right here. But I guess if I had to sum up this entire video with one word, it'd be pants. Just fucking pants. Case fucking closed. Cause I wear pants! Nah, but that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, or else Mr. Nintendo is gonna come over to your house and steal each and every pair of pants you own. Oh, and he'll leave a Steam Deck right at your doorstep if you leave it like. Uh, totally not a scam whatsoever. This is 100% legit. Don't even fucking at me. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Phone close, phone show, need a phone ho. Phone money, phone honey, sip a phone fo. Phone show, bro, the glow, never said that. Stay low on my toes, I'ma get that. It's getting serious, make a bitch delirious. Bitches on my dick, cause a boy so mysterious. That's a mystery. Thoughts make in history, wrist keeps spinning like a fucking rotisserie. <laughs>